Hey guys, my name is Dave. Welcome to another video. So, I've been bouncing on a couple of different topics to talk about today uh, for this video, but a discussion between my friend Aaron and I came up a little bit earlier on, and a very specific psychological topic was brought up. And that topic was that of what's considered a mirror or a reverse mirror. Now let me explain what I'm talking about here for those who don't know. What I mean by, like for example, a mirror, it's usually that spite. There is a spite in an individual, like a hate, for lack of another term, um, towards another person for the sole reason that that person acts exactly the same. This is what's considered a mirror. Um, now the reverse mirror you'd probably figure would be like the polar opposite. They see a person and they act the complete opposite. Things that the individual just does not approve of, ever. So they don't like it. This would be a reverse mirror. What's interesting to me though is, and this is why I wanted to talk about the topic, is that the whole world is filled with so many individuals who fall under these categories that it's almost <sighs> blinding, for lack of another term again. But why? Well, the reality of it is there are just circumstances out there nowadays and people out there who are so hateful because they see a specific something, it becomes painful to watch. Is this everyone? Well, of course not. I don't want you guys like hearing this and me claiming, oh, there are certain people like this, this person's this way, that, but that's not what I'm doing. When I talk about this, I am talking about the idea the psychological idea and giving my thoughts about the idea itself. I am not attacking any individual. It is not my place to talk about how individuals are. The fact is all I'm listing here. Again, for one, the fact is that a mirror is when an individual sees another individual and hates them for acting exactly like how that individual does. The funny thing about that one is that normally, normally, not always, this usually goes unnoticed by the person who is acting in a mirrored sense. The reverse mirror, on the other hand, is the one that's usually acknowledged almost all the time. This person does this complete polar opposite thing that I don't approve of. I hate this. I hate the person's actions. I despise the person for doing these things. This one is obviously noticed more often than not by the individual. But why? I mean, they're all flaws. Well, that usually comes down to the seven deadly sins. And this is something that I've talked on the channel about before. What exactly about this, these seven cardinal sins lead an individual into thinking this way? Well, to be honest, I say it's the seven, but realistically it's one specific one. Pride. And admittedly, the sin itself can be taken in several different ways. Pride itself is one of the cardinal sins, but it can be approached in so many manners that it's almost impossible to avoid. But there are different bad variants of pride that it becomes apparent. The more things are acted on, the more apparent it becomes to actually go about things like this. 
What about pride in an individual causes them to think this way? Well, they're so full of and confident of how they are these good things that they blindly miss certain actions that are faults. That other people have these same faults, but their subconscious notices it and neglects neglects the idea of them being that. Now, am I hating on people who do this? No. But the fact of the matter is people do do this. It's rare where someone actually acknowledges they are this way. Me, for example. I used to be this way when I was younger. I mean, I've gotten over it at this point. If I haven't, then it's something that's never pointed out which is upsetting to me but the fact of the matter is that realistically people are a dark mirror of their own true self and it's hard to work with sometimes so mirror is bad yes but what about a reverse mirror? Well, realistically, a reverse mirror is not much better. Because that spite that comes off of seeing someone who's a reverse mirror, the reaction isn't exactly good. It's saddening, for being honest. I just don't know how to approach it otherwise. It really is saddening but it is also growth. In a way, that's where I think the positive side of seeing a mirror person or a reverse mirror person really comes into play. As long as you're willing to accept the facts of these details, even if you don't like it, it can actually teach you a lot. And I'm saying this from my own personal experience. Learning those who actually do mirror me or reverse mirror me, I found that rather than hating on it and just learning from it, probably helps more than any other way I've ever seen before. This is something I'm actually happy about and something I'm hoping to implement into the future. But for right now, these are basically my simpler thoughts of mirrors and reverse mirrors. Now, what are your guys' thoughts on this? Have you ever met anybody who's either a mirror or a reverse mirror before of yourself? If so, how would you say the conversation went? There's a lot you can learn from it. Let us know in the comments below. If you guys would like to check out any other videos on the channel, click links on the side of my head. Wonder what you'll find. If you'd rather check out the channel itself or consider subbing to it, which we'd really appreciate, especially if you like videos like this one, click the icon that's on my chest here. Probably saying subscribe somewhere, I don't know. It's somewhere. Anyway, yeah. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. And we'll catch you guys later. For another one. See you guys.